All right, so what we have here is the male uh, three-toed box turtle with the respiratory infection, and we're going to give it its first injection of Baytril. Um, now, I do recommend going to a vet and getting the vet to do the injections, um, just so there's no mistakes on the dosages and where you're actually giving the injection. But today, we're going to give this one an injection in the leg, if I can get his leg out. There we go. Now, there's not a whole lot of meat to go by on these guys' legs. There's not a whole lot of fat or muscle on the legs, so it's going to be kind of tricky to give them their injections. Oh, his eyes are wide open now. This is the most I've actually seen this thing move. Alright, he's actually really frightened me quite a bit. Come on. Okay. There we go. Alright, so first we're going to do the, the alcohol swab there. Disinfect the area. This guy's got a little more meat on than the other ones do. Alright. Now the muscle, the, the injection has to go into the muscle, not into a vein. So we're going to put the needle in first. And then she's going to give a little suck back to make sure there's no blood. And if there's no blood, we can continue with the injection. There we go. Poor little guy. And just so we know, Batril actually does hurt the animal when it goes in, so we don't like using Batril too often. And then what we're doing now is just covering up the, the hole, because if you take the, the syringe out right away and don't cover it up, a lot of times the Batril will actually squirt out. So just give it a little cover up there, and it's done. There we go. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, see it's dripping out a little bit there. Only a couple drops. There we go. Alright, now we're going to put it back in and hopefully he will recover.